Chuck E. Cheese is a chain of American family restaurants, and the primary brand of CEC restaurant, in based in Irving, Texas. The restaurants serve pizza and other menu items, and feature arcade games, amusement rides, and animatronic displays as a focus of family entertainment. The chain's name is taken from its main character and mascot, Chuck E. Cheese. The first location opened in San Jose, California, as Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater, on May 17, 1977. The concept was created by Atari co-founder Nolan Bushnell, a pioneer of the video game industry. Pizza Time Theater was the first family restaurant to integrate food and an arcade with animated entertainment. After filing for bankruptcy in March 1984, the chain was acquired by competitor Showbiz Pizza Place in May 1985, forming Showbiz Pizza Time, Inc. In 1990, the company began unifying the two brands, renaming every location Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza. In 1994 the name was shortened to Chuck E. Cheese's, and Showbiz Pizza Time, Inc. became CEC Entertainment, Inc. in 1998. In 2019, the restaurant's name was further shortened to Chuck E. Cheese. As of June 2020, CEC Entertainment owned 541 Chuck E. Cheese venues in 47 U.S. states, 4 Canadian provinces, Guam, and Puerto Rico. The COVID-19 pandemic put significant financial strain on the company, and CEC Entertainment filed a voluntary bankruptcy petition under Chapter 11 in the Southern District of Texas on June 25, 2020. The announcement was coordinated with 47 states and 16 countries including the United States, Canada, Mexico, Chile, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and India. Since the company's inception, one of the primary draws for the business has been its video arcade offering inside restaurants. Within the arcade, customers can play coin-operated video games or redemption games, the latter of which involves games of skill that reward players in the form of tickets based on score. Tickets can be redeemed later for merchandise, such as candy and toys. The coin-op games originally accepted brass tokens issued by the company, stamped with various logos and branding that evolved over time. The company experimented with a card access method as a replacement for tokens, which allowed customers to load credits onto a card that could then be swiped for access at arcade games and refilled later. It was tested under different names including Chucky e. S. Super Discount Card and Chucky e. Token Card. Another primary draw for the center since their beginning through to the mid-2010s has been its animatronic shows. There have historically been several different styles of animatronic shows in use within the company, details of which would vary depending on when the location opened, whether it was renovated, available room for animatronic stages, and other factors. Over the years, these animatronics have often been supplemented by, and in recent years been completely replaced by, costumed characters. When the first location opened in 1977, the animatronic characters were featured as busts in framed portraits hanging on the walls of the main dining area. The original show featured Krusty the Cat, the first character to face retirement as he was soon replaced with Mr. Munch in 1978, Pasquale the Singing Chef, Jasper T. Jowls, The Warbolts, and the main focus of the show, Chuck E. Cheese by 1979, many restaurants had also added cabaret shows in separate rooms of each restaurant. One of the early cabaret characters was Dolly Dimples, a hippopotamus who played the piano and sang in the blues-slash-jazz style of performer Pearl Bailey. The in-house control system consisted of a 6502-based controller in a card cage with various driver boards was called Cyberamics. While Aaron Fector separately produced Rockafire Explosion animatronics for Showbiz Pizza through the early 1980s, Bushnell and Pizza Time Theater continued work on characters for their portrait format and newer balcony performance stage shows under the umbrella of the Pizza Time players. In addition, more cabaret shows modeled after actual music artists were released, such as The Beagles, The Beatles, The Beach Bowsers, The Beach Boys, and The King, Elvis. Many of these used tracks by the original music artists. Development on cabaret concepts slowed greatly after Pizza Time Theater Inc.'s bankruptcy in 1984 and its purchase by Showbiz a year later. From 1985 to 1990, the merged company kept their brands and their respective animatronics, mostly separate, Bushnell's cabaret and balcony characters entertained at Pizza Time Theater, and the Rockafire explosion continued at Showbiz. 
After Fector refused to sign over the rights to the Rockefeller explosion to Showbiz Pizza Time, Inc., concept unification was undertaken beginning in September 1990 and continuing through 1992 to eliminate Fector's characters from Showbiz locations. The animatronics used for Showbiz's Rockefeller explosion band were redressed as Munch's Make Believe Band, with Chucky, Jasper, Helen Henny, Munch, and Pasquale costumes replacing Fector's Rockefeller characters. In the mid-1990s, the character Chuck E. Cheese began to see significant design changes. The vest, or suit, and derby hat he'd worn from the beginning was ditched for a baseball cap, casual shirt, and optional sneakers in an attempt to appeal to a younger audience. Beginning in 1998, the animatronics show installed into new stores, referred to as Studio C, consisted of a single animated Chuck E. Cheese character created by Garner Holt alongside large television monitors, lighting effects, and interactive elements. The other characters appear as puppets on the TV screens. The control system dubbed Cyberstar was redesigned from the ground up and produced by Dave Philipson. The last animatronic stage mass-produced for Chuck E. Cheese, Circles of Light, premiered in early 2012. Pizza is the main focus of the restaurant portion of the business, but the menu features other items as well including cold-cut sandwiches, chicken wings, salad bar access, and desserts. In addition, some Chuck E. Cheese locations offer alcoholic beverages. In March 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the restaurant began selling pizza, wings, desserts, and more through food delivery services under the virtual brand Pasquale's Pizza and Wings. The Pasquale name comes from a member of Chuck E. Cheese's animatronic band. While food sold under this brand comes from the same brick-and-mortar kitchens as Chuck E. Cheese, the company claims to use different ingredients and recipes that cater to a more mature audience. Practically all of the Chuck E. Cheese stores in the United States are selling and delivering food under this virtual brand. Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater was founded by Atari founder Nolan Bushnell, who sought to expand video game arcades beyond adult locations like pool halls to child and family-friendly venues. His experience in the amusement park industry, and his fondness for Disneyland's Country Bear Jamboree, influenced his concept for Pizza Time Theater. He has said, it was my pet project. I chose pizza because of the wait time and the build schedule very few components, and not too many ways to screw it up when his first animatronic show was being assembled, Bushnell learned that the costume he'd bought for his main character, a coyote, was actually that of a rodent, prompting him to suggest changing the establishment's name from Coyote Pizza to Rick Rat's Pizza. His marketing people proposed Chuck E. Cheese instead, and that became its name. The first Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater opened in San Jose, California, in 1977. In 1978, when Atari's then-corporate parent Warner Communications refused to open additional locations, Bushnell purchased the rights to the concept and characters from Warner for $500,000. Gene Landrum then resigned from Atari and was made the restaurant's president and chief operating officer. By late 1979, there were seven PTT locations, all in California. Its animatronics were produced fully in-house by PTT employees. To expand beyond California and the West Coast, Bushnell began to franchise, resulting in a co-development agreement between himself and Robert Brock of Topeka in management in June 1979. The agreement handed Brock exclusive franchising rights for opening Pizza Time theaters in 16 states across the southern and midwestern United States, while also forming a company subdivision, Pizza Showbiz, to develop the Pizza Time theaters. Late in 1979, Brock became aware of Aaron Fector of Creative Engineering, Inc., and his work in animatronics. In November 1979, he scouted Fector's business and concluded that Creative Engineering's animatronics would be too strong a competition for Bushnell's work. Brock therefore requested that Bushnell release him from their co-development agreement, wishing to develop with Fector instead. In December 1979, Brock and Fector formed Showbiz Pizza Place Incorporated, and Brock gave notice to sever his development relationship with Bushnell. Showbiz Pizza Place was conceptually identical to Pizza Time Theater in all aspects except for animation, which would be provided by Creative Engineering. Showbiz Pizza Place opened its first location on March 3, 1980, in Kansas City, Missouri. 
Upon the opening of Showbiz Pizza Place, Bushnell sued Brock and Topeka in management over breach of contract. Brock immediately issued a countersuit against Bushnell, citing misrepresentation. Do you like the arcade games? Or is it the pizza or the prizes?